Good morning. It is Thursday, the 20th of July, and I'm glad you're back for our weekly devotions. I hope you have your Bible with us with you as we talk about the Christian life and our testimony. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> our testimony today. Let's begin with prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your spirit that you've given to indwell each one of us. Help us to live for you today, to honor and glorify you today as believers, as people of faith, as Christians. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, in working at a convenience store part-time during the week, I meet a lot of interesting people. A lot of people come in through the store. Some people come once and we never see them again. Others come regularly, every day, uh, get the same things. It's, it's like having a, a, a regular order at a restaurant. We see them walk in the door and we can start pulling things off the shelf and setting it out because they're going to buy what they're going to buy. But one of the good parts about working at the store is getting to meet all these people over time, getting to uh, know them a little bit, getting to hear their stories, getting to uh, not just expect them to come in, but to look forward to them coming in. Uh, some are just uh, create small talk and we talk and pass and go on. Others, we begin to talk about other things uh, and we begin to get to know each other a little, a little better. There are some that over the course of my time there that uh, have professed Jesus, uh, that they believe in Jesus. Uh, they talk about Jesus blessing them. They talk about having a church that they attend. And um, you begin to think maybe they're Christians. And, and, and I, I don't judge, but you begin to think they're Christians and you, you hear them talk and you begin to have some religious conversation. And then sometimes you get to have a spiritual conversation with deep meaning and joy as we talk together. But it puts uh, a believer in Jesus Christ on the spot kind of because you always have to be sure that your testimony, uh, I, have to, I have to watch myself, what I say and how I act uh, around the customers, around my, the other employees, because they know that I'm a Christian. They know that I'm a pastor. They know that I represent Jesus, and I talk about him. And I have had a chance to pray with some of the customers, which is an exciting thing. Uh, Paul talked about our daily walk in the world and how Christians should live and act. In Colossians 1, uh, chapter 1, verses 9 through 10, he says this, And so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord. This means to live daily in a manner that's, that, that represents the Lord well. It says, fully pleasing to him, we're to live each day to please Jesus, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. This is how we should live each day so that our testimony is true and holy and right, that people see Jesus in us and they're drawn to him, not to us. <clears throat> but you know, not all of these people who come through and profess to be believers and, and have a church they go to. Number one, you don't have a church you go to. You belong to a church because the church is the people, not the building. But, you know, they talk about that. And not everyone that comes through does, does their spirit set well with mine. And you may say, well, now you're being judgmental. No, I'm not. Because you see, if I'm full of the Holy Spirit and I allow him to fill me throughout the day and I'm seeking to do his will and I, I'm grounded in his word and I'm seeking to please him, then the Holy Spirit of God, who is righteous and just and, and, and 
resist sin in my life, uh, he is the one who is making it seem like something isn't quite right here. Uh, it's, it's him that does this. In Romans 8, uh, 16, we read these words by Paul, The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. This Spirit causes the uneasy easiness. You see, he is holy, and he resists sin. And his Spirit bears witness with me that I am a child of God. But his spirit can also bear witness with my spirit that someone may other may not be because of the way they act or the way they talk or their attitude. Uh, mm -hmm. We must remember also that the Holy Spirit gives believers spiritual gifts with which to live and to operate and function in the body of Christ and in this world. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it talks about these gifts. And in verse 10, we read these words. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the ability to distinguish spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. And to another, the interpretation of tongues. So there is a gift of the Holy Spirit of distinguishing between spirits. A good spirit, a godly spirit, a holy spirit, and an unholy spirit. Christians have that ability. It's a gift from the from the Holy Spirit. Does that mean we run around and judge each other? No. No, but we can become uneasy around certain people and uh, and because the Spirit in them is not true. In Galatians 5.16 it says, This I say, if we walk in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. When we walk in the Spirit as believers in Jesus Christ, we have a sense about holiness and righteousness and judge, judge, not judgment, but uh, justice. We have this sense about us. We can, if you want to put it in the five senses, we can see it, we can touch it, we can smell it, we can taste it, we can hear it. Uh, because the Holy Spirit lives within us. But you know, once again, not being judgmental in, 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 a, in, a, in a condemning way, but just discerning spirits, a true test of a person's the reality of Christ in their life or not is, is when they get squeezed by life's pressures. You see, we all have life that happens to us. We all have pressures that come our way. We all have tough and hard days. Uh, in the store, sometimes I get customers that are just not uh, not very pleasing to be around at that time. And, and it squeezes us. And we're in between a rock and a hard place, and the rocks are moving, squishing in on us. You know, that's a good test because, you see, if you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. If you squeeze lemonade, you get, I mean, lemons, you get lemonade. And if you squeeze an egg, you're going to get a mess. And so when life squeezes us, what's on the inside, who we really are, comes out. When it comes to push and shove, who we really are comes out. Uh, we can talk around it. We can, we can say, you know, that's not really me or that was a mistake. Whatever we want to do, but, but who we really are is what comes out. In Luke 6, 43 through 45, we read these words, For no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For fig, uh, figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of the evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Now, Jesus says there's none good but the Father. So if we are considered good for any reason, it's because of the Holy Spirit that indwells us through faith in Jesus Christ. It's by our faith in Jesus Christ our sins for, are forgiven, but it's also by faith in Jesus Christ that we have the indwelling spirit and it's by faith in, in him that we can walk and live 
Christ-like in this world. So if there's any good that comes out of a believer, it's because of Jesus. But if the Holy Spirit's not there, the Holy Spirit's not in control, when that person's squeezed, the reality of their life is laid out for everybody to see. If we're believers in Jesus Christ, we, we need to watch our lives. We need to guard uh, our lives. We need to be sure of our salvation. We need to be sure of the presence of the Holy Spirit. We need to be sure of our humbleness before an Almighty God so that His Spirit can reign supreme in our lives. And when we're squeezed, He'll come out not us. Uh, we need to live so that no matter what happens, no matter where we find ourselves, no matter what circumstance, no matter what situation, Jesus always shines through. May you be blessed today as you live for him, as you honor him, as you let him shine through your life.